guys, it's Jackie here from The Wandering Oak. This is the project we were supposed to start working on on Thursday, but our water tank uh, broke, so we had to replace that. Today we are starting to build our dining room table, and we're gonna take you along on the ride because this is going to be a fantastic, easy DIY. At least I'm hoping it's easy. I think it should be, but this whole project cost about $100. And that is a really good deal when you take into consideration what a dining room table can cost. And today we are getting our first snowfall. all of the pieces. I will put the cut list down in the description below if you guys want to make a dining table exactly to these dimensions. So I just laid out, kind of mocked up what it's all gonna look like. This is the underside of the top of the table. The top is all made from two by 12s and we have one on each end of a piece cut to the two by 12 by 33 and three fourths. I think it is, 33 and a fourth. I don't know, I will put it on the screen. And then we have three pieces of the two by 12s that measure six feet long. And then to hold it all together, we've got four pieces of two by four that measure 24 inches and two pieces of two by four that measure seven and a half feet. Over off to the side, we have the four four by four legs that measure 28 inches tall. And what you see us doing here is marking with a pen where we want the pocket holes to sit and how many we need to put in. In addition to the pieces you saw earlier, we thought it was a good idea to also add this piece here just to give this joint a little bit more structure. doing is adding two brackets to each of the legs just to help stabilize them a little bit more. and we are going to continue on building this dining room table. So yesterday we were able to finish the build and today I need to 
patch any holes with some wood filler and then wait for that to dry, sand it down, stain it, and it'll be all beautiful and ready to use. So this is the wood filler that I'm gonna be using. It's just plastic wood in like a, a natural color. And something you wanna keep in mind with wood filler is not all of it is stainable and paintable. So know what project you're doing and if you are planning on staining, make sure that it says on the container that it's stainable. But right now I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna fill any holes and then I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I'll get to sanding. If you are someone who plans on prepping food on your kitchen table, I highly recommend looking into different options for food safe finishes. Um, I am going to cover this over with a polyurethane top coat, which is known to be good for kitchen tables. So just something to take into consideration. And here you see behind me the finished product. I am super pleased with how it turned out. You still have to put up our ladder upcycled chandelier as well as make a bench for this. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Tomorrow in the daylight, once it's dry, I will uh, stage it all up with a nice centerpiece and um, get some really good shots so you all can see how it turned out a little bit better. It is pitch black outside right now, so the lighting's not super great. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and doing this project with us. And if you guys try this project, Make sure to tag me on Instagram. I'll put all that in the description below and we will see you in the next video. Bye.